Hello everybody! This is Ramshina and I am back with the part two of our topic on introduction to management. As we can recall last for the part one of our discussion, we have discussed the history and the evolution of management. Okay, so meron tayong lima approaches doon, if you can remember. So we will now continue our discussion. So ngayon naman, introduce na natin ano ang management, Sino ba ang mga managers? What do they do? And of course, kung ano yung mga skills na kailangan nila and why do you have to study management? So if you want to know more about the topic, so keep on watching. Okay. But before that, um, syempre, we love surprises. I would like to recognize the top scorers for our quiz one from the different sections. Okay, let's start with... 1B is BAA. Yes, congratulations pala sa akin naman dyan. Dapat may virtual na palakpak. Hindi ako nakapag, ano eh, nag, hindi ako nakapaglagay ng palakpak na sound. Pero congratulations to the following top scores for quiz number one. So, hindi pa ito kasama doon sa bonus dahil ongoing ang uh, ang pag-answer noon hanggang Friday. Pero sa section A, ang dami talagang mga top scores. So, I actually recognize yung mga scores ay 12 and above, over 15. So, isa sa mga naka-perfect ay si Desiree Kyle Lingkod. Yes, congratulations. Palapakan naman natin siya. Okay, she got 15. And now, Joshua Berot. So, correct me if I'm mistaken with your name. Nakakuha naman siya ng 14. Okay, may dalawa namang nakakuha ng 13 sa BSBA, si Norman Joe Sandoval saka si Maria Laika Fernandez. At maraming nakakuha ng 12. Ito yung mga yon. These are uh, Suzette Bustilios, Ina Nadine Viernes, Reina Angel Singo, Singo, hindi ko alam yung, yung, ano niya, yung pronunciation niya. So, please uh, comment below uh, Reina Lin kung paano pag-regas na pangalan mo. Brenda Sevillena, Job de la Cruz, John Denver Santos, Mary Ansariano, Leslie Arenas, at Anna Lintorio. Yes, congratulations everybody. Yes. At ang BSBA Aiden ang nakakuha ng um, pinakamataas na average score sa buong class. So, ibig sabihin, generally, matataas talaga yung mga scores. Okay, congrats. Keep it up. Sana next time, hindi pa rin ang makikita natin sa list. Okay, next. So, BSB naman, ito ang ating mga top scores. So, doon walang nakaperfect, meron tayong 13. Si IB Ibay, uh, nakakuha siya ng 13. Si Raquel Calicdan, Joe Valenciano, at Sharin Berzola ay nakakuha ng 12. Congratulations sa ating mga top scores for BSB AB. Next, ang uh, mga top scores naman natin ng BSB AC, parang kaunti ng kaunti ha. Gahilangan galingan sa susunod, okay? Yan. So, this is not to demotivate you or mag-sport ng competition, but this is rather to motivate you para at least the next time makita niya na ang pangalan niya sa mga top scorers natin. Okay. Si Joshua De La, De La Season, hindi ko alam kung ito talaga ang iyong uh, surname or nagkamali, kasi parang um, I'm not familiar with the surname, may nakakuha ng 12. Si Maria Romela Sagawini ay nakakuha ng 12. Congratulations. I am copying here habang you discuss. And lastly, yung BSBA din natin. Wow, meron din naka-perfect. Yun ay si Alea Bianca Amuyan. Congratulations, kasama niya si Desiree Ralingkot na nakakuha ng perfect score sa ating quiz number one. Okay, nakakuha rin ng 14 si Ariel Joyce Bernardo. Yes naman. Nakakuha ng 13 si Arvin Molano. At, at ang nakakuha ng 12 ay si Mark Mark Jesus na Mariel. Wow, very biblical. Congratulations sa everybody! Yun, so yun yung mga top scorers natin. Send some congratulatory messages below sa comment section. And hopefully, next, pangalan yun na ang next na makita ko sa top scorers natin. Okay, thank you so much for that. So, let's go back to the main topic. Um, uh, Ang topic B natin sa Subtopic B rather, sa so topic 1 ay ang who are managers and where do they work? Okay? So, um, uh, 
before we answer that, I would like to shed some light. Ano nga ba ang term na management? Plus, you should listen because this is not written in the ebook. Dinagdag ko lang plus parang, ay, hindi parang hindi masyadong na-emphasize yung definition natin ng management. Okay? So, the term uh, management is used in three different ways. Number one is management as a discipline, management as a group of people, and management as a process. Okay? Pag ginagamit yung term na management, can mean different things. So, number one, ang pinaka-familiar siguro tayo is yung management as in people. Oh, yung top management, yung middle management, or yung, um, basta yun, yung mga management, ibig sabihin yung mga matataas or yung admin. Okay? Pero ang management class ay pwede rin ma, um, ma identify as a discipline or a field of study. At syempre, dito, ang pinag-aaralan natin dito ay ang management as a process. Process of planning, organizing, leading, and controlling. Ayan. So, in for, in for, uh, to further discuss that, ang management po ay pwedeng field of study. Okay? It can be management principles, techniques, functions, etc. and profession. Okay? It's a discipline. But it yung pinaka-familiar tayo, ang management is a team or class of people. Uy, well, siya yung top management dyan, kaya magaling siya, or yung management, or kung nakikita niyo, di ba, pag sa isang restaurant or something na business, under new management. Ibig sabihin, may bago na na nagmamanage, or bago na nag doon sa business na yun. These are individuals, or individuals who perform managerial activities, or maybe a group, group of persons. And of course, it can be a process. It's a process of managerial activities such as planning, organizing, staffing, directing, and controlling. Okay? So we have several definitions here from the different management guru. And some of them are, ay nabanggit natin sa um, part 1 ng ating discussion, especially F.W. Taylor. Okay, who, who can remember an uncle name F.W. Taylor is? Frederick Winslow Taylor. So, kanda nyo yan, yan, yan ha, every time na may quiz, kailangan buo talaga ang kanyang pangalan. So, according to him, it's the uh, management is the art of knowing what you want to do and then seeing that it is done the best and cheapest way. Okay? So, makikita nyo later on na medyo ganun na yung definition kasi meron tayo dyan, it is done the best and cheapest way. Okay? Which is Okay, I encounter you later on na effective and efficient. Okay. Next naman is Henry Fayol. I think mali yung spelling dito. Can you, um, H-E-N-R-I dapat. So, ipakorek na lang. To manage is to forecast, to plan, to organize, to command, to coordinate, and to control. If you can remember our discussion, siya ang pinakauna na uh, if I am correct ha, or nalilito lang din ako, pero pakicheck din, pero siya kasi ang unang nag-coin ng planning, organizing, leading, and controlling. Okay, paano natin ma-identify yung planning dyan? To manage is to forecast into plan, that is planning. To organize is organizing. To command is leading or directing. And also to coordinate. And yung control is controlling. Okay. According to another management guru named Peter Drucker, management is work and as such, it has its own skills, its own tools, and its own techniques. So, ang tingin ko kayo naman dito is yung sa resources. Okay. But this one is, the last one is my favorite. Hindi ko alam mo kanino galing yung definition na to. But, management is the art of getting things done through, okay, and with people. I would like to emphasize the very importance of the people in reaching the objectives. Kasi without them, di ba, yung human resources natin, hindi man talaga ma-achieve yung mga objectives natin. Okay? Yan. Yeah. And to answer who are managers and where do they work, a manager class is someone who coordinates and oversees the work of other people so organizational goals can be accomplished. Okay? So, basically, sila yung nagsusupervise, kaya nag-oversee. Sila ang nag-make sure that the, the plans, sila ang nag-make sure that the plans are made into action. Okay? 
But a manager's job class is not about personal achievement. It's about helping others to do their work. Okay, ibig sabihin, ang manager na tinutukoy natin dito ay hindi boss na taga-utos lang, taga-perma lang. Siguro nung mga ano din kayo, nung high school din kayo, ganyan, or elementary, we have this concept na gusto ko, paglaki ko, ano gusto ko maging manager para ang gagawin ko lang taga-perma. Okay, that is a boss. Pero, ang manager class is tinutulungan niya yung kanyang mga subordinates. Okay? And that may mean coordinating the work of a departmental group or it might mean supervising a single person or mentoring, ganyan. It could involve coordinating the work activities of a team with people from different departments or even people outside the organization such as temporary employees or individuals who work for the organization's suppliers. Keep in mind, Okay, let us remember that managers may also have work duties not relating to coordinating but overseeing others' work. Okay, so for example, insurance claim supervisor might process claims in addition to coordinating the work activities of other claim clerks. Ano bang ibang ginagawa ng manager? Okay, siya siguro ang nakikipag-coordinate or um, uh, siya siguro ang naghahanap ng supplier or siya yung isa sa mga nasa-survey, ganyan. So, ang manager po ay hindi lang puro naka, hindi lang coordinating ang, ang, ang work niya kasi nagpa-plano rin siya, nagko-control siya, nag-organize siya, siya ang pumipini ng mga tao, nag siya, ganun. Lalo na kapag yung small business lang. Okay? And where do managers work to answer that? It is obvious that managers work in organizations. But what is an organization? It is a deliberate arrangement of people to accomplish some specific purpose. So later on, i-discuss natin ano bang ibig sabihin delivery or ano bang characteristic ng organization. Okay. If I would ask you, class, yan, i-comment nyo ulit na nakatayang sa, magkatawag ba na organization ng isang uh, isang group of people kapag members niya lang ay dalawa, tatlo, or apat? Mm. For me, it's not. Okay. Kasi ang organization, uh, although for me, sa akin lang yun, kasi meron akong naalala dati sa org, sa UP dati, hindi sila na-recognize as an org kasi kulang ng 15 members ata. Para ang minimum number is yung 15 lang. Okay, 15 yung, uh, dapat maka-15 ka before ka ma-recognize, pero hindi sila na-recognize kasi kulang sila. Okay. So, I have this concept na organization, hindi matatawag na organization kapag konti lang. Okay? Pwede sigurong partner sila, ganyan, pero hindi sila organization. I think meron ganun eh. Uh, hindi ko na maalala yung yung kung sa detective, parang ano sila, parang detective, parang detective ko nun na thing na sa Wattpad na hindi sila ma-recognize kasi dalawa lang sila. Yun, hindi ko na maalala, pero naumpisahan ko, pero hindi ko natuloy kasi. Okay. So let's go here. Ano nga bang organization or characteristic ng organization? Paano nga ba siya ma determine or how do we classify that an organization is an organization? First, an organization has a distinct purpose. This one, typically expressed through goals the organization hopes to accomplish. Uh, you have an organization because you have a purpose. You have an aim. You have a vision. Bakit itinatag siya? Um, for example, sa uh, charity, may mga nabuo na ng government organizations just to help uh, the people who are having difficult times during the pandemic. So, mayroon silang purpose to help others. Ganun. Okay. Second, um, each organization is composed of people. It takes people to perform the work that's necessary for the organization to achieve its goals. An organization should have people. An organization cannot stand alone without its people. Okay? Pero, syempre, ano pa rin siya ang um, hindi pa rin ma-identify kung ilan ba ang dapat na minimum number ng isang organization. Yung example ko kanina sa org yun, or college org. Pero sa iba, paano nga ba natin ma-determine? Sige nga kung ma-search ninyo, let me know in the comment section. Ilan bang minimum na number of people para matawag siyang organization? And last is, it's a deliberate structure. 
all organizations develop a del deliberate, deliberate structure which within which members do their work. That structure may be open and flexible with no specific job duties or strict adherence to explicit job arrangement. So, um, in order for me to discuss that, I check the definition of deliberate. So, sabi niyo dyan, it's a slow and hurried and st steady allowing time for decision in each individual action involved. So, ibig sabihin nun, it's not something that you should rush into. Kaya siya nabuo kasi nga, um, it took time, okay, na um, uh, you, the structure is deliberate within which members do their work. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, unhurried siya or hindi siya dapat minamadali. Okay, binuo siya kasi nga may purpose. Next is the levels of management. Okay, ang manager's class ay hindi lang basta-basta manager. Merong mas mataas na manager, may pinakamataas na manager, ganun. Okay, so as you can see in the figure here, yung non-managerial employees is actually known as yung rank and file employees. Take note of that, ha? Okay, malay niyo, bigay ko yung sa quiz. Um, okay, sa so lowest rank ng level of management is called the first line or frontline managers. These are managers who manage the work of non-managerial employees. Okay, who can give me an example of first line or frontline managers? Okay, ang siguro ang pinaka-familiar kayo na example ng frontline managers ay mga managers sa mga fast food chains, sa Macbo, Jollibee, um, Sila talaga eh. Kung nakikita niyo sa McDo, hindi lang nakatayo ang manager dahil sila mismo nag-supervise sila ng work ng kanilang mga crew. Ganyan. So, ano bang examples natin ng ating mga first line according to the book? Meron tayong super, ang actually tawag daw sa kanilang mga supervisor. Shift manager, shift ha. District manager or department manager. Mga department chairs natin sa PSU. Okay. Next naman na level, okay, is yung middle managers. The middle managers manage the work of first-line managers and can be found between the lowest and top levels of the organization. Okay? In our case, uh, um, uh, in our case, siguro sa PSU, yung college team, di ba kami eh, faculty, non-managerial kami. Yung first-line namin is yung department chair, tapos yung middle managers namin ay yung college team, and then yung college team, ay magre-report din sa mas mataas pa. Siguro sila yung mga top management. Or, uh, actually, feeling ko yung top executive director is actually middle managers. Okay. So, um, ito naman, kung pagdating naman sa mga uh, ang tawag dito, sa kung pagdating naman sa fast food chains, ganyan, siguro may mga regional manager yung mga yan na every time na nag-audit sa kanila, na observe ganyan, uh, or store manager, or project leader, or division manager. Okay, yung tawag sa kanila. And of course, ang middle managers ay responsible for turning company strategy into action. So, tandaan niyo yan. Ang next naman class ay yung ating top managers. Kaya sila top managers kasi sila yung mga pinakamatataas talaga. Usually, sa mga k-drama, di ba, mapapansin nyo, mga CEO sila, ganyan, or president, or vice president, sila po yung mga top managers. So, they are responsible for making organization-wide decisions in establishing the plans and goals that affect the entire organization. So, the individuals typically have titles executive vice president, president, managing director, chief operating officer, or chief, ex chief executive officer. Uh, ang naalala ko dito is na drama It's, syempre, was strong with Secretary King, di ba? Ganda. Pero pati yung site, uh, alam ba yan, yung example ko, puro car soldier. Pati si, ano, yung sa She Was Pretty. Yun, di ba? Ano siya, parang um, deputy director siya nung mismo magazine. Yun. So, kung hindi pa nun, panoorin nyo yun. So, sila example ng ating top managers. Okay, next. Subtopic C, why are managers important? First, organizations need their managerial skills and abilities in uncertain 
complex and chaotic times. Okay. Um, why do we need the miners? Because more than ever, with the ever changing con with ever changing environment, yan, with the today's challenges, changing workforce dynamics, the COVID nineteen, changing technology, increasing globalization, and so forth. Hunters play an important role in identifying critical issues and crafting responses. So someone should take a step to do this. Okay? Kasi sila yung key eh. Kung maga, usually kasama naman talaga ng employees kapag tinatawag natin. Uh, later on, madi-discuss natin yung top-down sa uh, bottom-up. Yung top-down kasi usually ang nagpa-plan or naggagawa ng decision ay yung mga managers natin. Okay? So they are important kasi sila nag- or Kung hindi man silang gumagawa ng decision, sila ang nag-initiate, sila ang nag-start. Okay? Second, managers are critical to getting things done in organizations. For instance, um, merong mga companies that, uh, syempre kailangan ng managers because may mga tasks talagang na kailangan ay managers. It, Kumbaga, pati lalong-lalo na sa decision-making. Okay? At managers lang makakagawa nun. Imagine nyo na lang, although it exists, ha, there is an organization na walang manager. Lahat sila ay managers. Kumbaga, sa isang group work, managers silang lahat. Or, members silang lahat, walang nag -lead. Okay? Just think of that. Walang magagawa masyado kasi walang may role nun. Walang may role nung pagiging manager. Okay? So, they create and coordinate the workplace environment and work system so that others can perform those tasks. So probably, kasi ang a manager, silang nagko-connect-connect. Eh. Kung pumaga, merong iba't ibang mga groups, okay? Kung ito may kailangan tong grupo na to, may kailangan tong grupo na to, siya yung nasa gitna, siya yung nagbabalance ng lahat. Okay? Um... Uh, or if work is, isn't getting done or isn't getting done as it should be, they're the ones who find out why and get things back on track. And these managers are key players into leading the company into the future. Okay. And last, syempre, although pare-paras lang yung thought niya, managers contribute to employees, employee productivity and loyalty. The way employees are managed can affect the organization's financial performance, and managerial ability has been shown to be important in creating organizational value. Of course, managers do matter in organization. So they have found out that um, that the single most important variable in employee productivity and loyalty is not pay or benefits or workplace. It's the quality of relationship between employees and their district or direct supervisor rather. Okay, I have read, although madi-discuss rin natin to, lalong lala sa HCO, siguro sa pag-second year tayo. What makes an employee satisfied? Or what makes an employee stay in inside the organization? I have read na malaking bagay ang pay. Okay, but the number one talaga is actually the immediate supervisor, your boss. So, kung okay yung boss mo, mag-stay talaga yung, uh, yung employees isang organization. So, gano'n siya kahalaga. Okay, next. What do managers do? Okay. What do managers do? Dito na makikita ano ang mga roles, mga skills, mga dapat uh, malaman tungkol ng uh, manager. Okay. That they have to possess in order to be effective and efficient. So, broadly speaking, management is what managers do. Okay, Manage management involves overseeing the work activities of others so that their activities are completed efficiently and effectively. Okay, sa mga nanonood ng video na to, this is another surprise. Okay, makinig kayong mabuti because you can have bonus, another bonus of three points. Okay. For quiz number two, if mapili yung sagot niyo, so the question is, what is the difference between effectiveness and efficiency? Okay, 
in order for you to discuss that at para mapili kayo na pinaka swap or pinaka magandang sagot na makikita ko give an example na related sa work sa factory sa pagmamanufacture ganyan any related sa organization okay kasi um i've been actually every year ko talaga tong tinatanong ano pa kakaiba ng effectiveness at efficiency sabi ko wait na wag muna kayo magtaas ng kamay Okay, although nasa book din yun, but if you cannot explain it, do not tell me that the difference between effectiveness and efficiency is doing things right and doing the right things. Because malabo siya at hindi siya masyadong catchy. Although parang mas nakakalito pa nga yun kung isipin mo. Kaya in order for you to get the three points, just comment below. Okay, at use the hashtag para makita ko kaagad hashtag bonus one. Okay? Hashtag bonus one. Tapos, you discuss ano ang pagkakaiba ng effectiveness at efficiency. Pipili lang ako ng tatlo sa lahat ng section na yun. Okay? Tatlo lang po. So, I, um, I think kung i-upload ko ito ngayon, you can, uh, you can have a comment until um, tomorrow, September 24, ng mga 8 p.m. gano'n. I-announce ko na lang. Kasi sige, hindi ko na i-announce para at least sure ako na manunod ko yun. Or kung kaya mo nyo mga naumanood. Uh, you can uh, pipili ako ng uh, right answer. This is optional ha. Bonus lang talaga siya. Until September 24 ng 5 p.m. Final na. Okay. September 24 ng 5 p.m. Okay. Next. So, uh, um, what do managers do? Na-discuss natin din kanina. Uh, managers do management and they do the four functions of management. Yung P-O-L-C. Planning, organizing, leading, and controlling. Okay? So, once they um, do the, the these, kasi these are the functions of management, it can lead to achieving the organization's stated purposes. So, let us first Uh, define. Although ito, ito yung main talagat na topic. We have to take note of this kasi um, topic 2 is all about planning, topic 3 is organizing, topic 4 is leading, and topic 5 is controlling. Ganyan siya kahalaga. Planning is setting goals, establishing strategies, and developing plans to coordinate activities. Okay. Ang organizing naman is what needs to be done, how it will be done, and who is to do it. Okay, kung mapapansin nyo, it pertains actually to the human resource who will do it, ganyan, who is assigned to this one, organization structure. Kasi class, ang organizing is also known as staffing. Although, ang staffing is just part of the organizing. So, ma-incorporate natin siya, pero baka maglalampas, maano lang siya, pahapyaw lang siya. Okay, kasi HRM or human resource management is a separate subject. Okay. Um, kailan nyo ba matitag yun? Second year? Ito rin. I think ito rin itong sa mga. Second year or side person. Next is leading. Motivating leading and any other actions involved in dealing with people. Yes. Leading naman is actually known also known as directing or motivating. Okay, yung mga terms. Pero this is uh, actually easier to to remember. Okay, next is controlling. Monitoring activities to ensure that they are accomplished as planned. So, later on, makikita ninyo na may link ang planning at controlling. So, um, in order for us to achieve stated purposes, dapat magawa siya ng mga is. Okay, next. Okay, kung na-discuss natin what are, the what are the functions, what are the roles of a manager, ito naman is another A uh, type of roles, according to Minsberg, we have three types: interpersonal roles, informational roles, and decisional roles. First, um, managerial roles, muna is this defined as, okay? Oh, I hope you are taking notes while I am discussing, kasi may mga napabanggit ako dito na wala pala sa module, wala, wala din sa ebook, pero binibigay ko sa course kasi I discuss naman. It refers to specific actions or behaviors expected of and exhibited by a manager. Okay, think of the different roles you play. Student, employer, 
employees to the organization, member, volunteer, sibling, and so forth. And the difference you're expect, expected to do in these roles. Okay, so ibig sabihin, these are the expected na gagawin ng isang manager. Okay? Uh, when describing what managers do from a role perspective, we're not looking at a specific person per se. But the expectations for responsibilities associated with the person in that role, the role of a manager. Okay, so as we can see here in the diagram, there are 10 roles which are grouped doon sa tatlo, interpersonal, informational, at decisional. Okay. Number one na dyan ang interpersonal roles and probably the most important, um, it involves people, subordinates and persons outside of the organization and other ceremonial and symbolic duties. Okay. The three interpersonal roles include figure head, leader, and liaison. Ang interpersonal, cash interpersonal is all about communicating. It's all about, actually, ang informational is communicating. Yan, pero itong interpersonal is actually your interaction, how you deal with people. Yan yung exact. Kasi communication is informational eh. So, informational roles involve collecting, receiving, and disseminating information. Kaya siya disseminating kasi merong nag-monitor, may nag-disseminate, merong spokesperson. And finally, the decisional roles entail making decisions or choices include entrepreneur, disturbance handler, resource allocator, and negotiator. As managers perform these roles, Ms. Berg proposed that their activities included both reflection, which is thinking, and action or doing. So, hindi lang, hindi lang dapat. Kung baga, ang, ang uh, sinasamahan natin yung thought ng action. Okay? Next, what types of skills do managers need? Meron tayong tatlo dyan. Medyo katulad lang yung makikita nyo kung anong pagkakatulad nila. Okay, so the technical skills are job-specific knowledge and techniques needed to proficiently perform work tasks. Okay, ang technical skills class, ito yung mga uh, work mismo na direct na ginagawa in order to produce a product, to serve the customers, ganyan. Okay, para, for example, ang technical skills class is kung sa factory, the technical skills is sila yung um, pagagawa ng upuan, sila yung nagpupupo, sila yung nagpavarnish, sila yung nagkakat ng wood, ganyan. Technical skills, medyo hands-on to yung technical skills. Okay? Um, kaya nga ang technical skills ay magaling sa math, ganyan, magaling science, ganyan. Okay? A specific knowledge and techniques needed to proficiently perform work tasks. That is technical skills. Okay? Kaya nga, itong technical skills is kailangan talaga hands-on. How to do the job na mismo. Kumbaga, parang sa application, sila yung mismong direct na gumagawa. Okay? Next, interpersonal skills. Wala kanina is na na, um, na explain na rin natin yung interpersonal roles. First, the ability to work well with other people individually and in group. Okay? It's very important. And the conceptual skills is the ability to think and to conceptualize about abstract and complex situations. Conceptual skills is actually uh, making decisions, ikaw yung gumagawa ng idea, ganyan, um, ikaw talaga dapat yung creative, magaling kang mag magaling kang mag-plan. Ito yung conceptual skills. Okay. With that, this is actually bonus 2. Okay. Hashtag bonus 2. Okay. Pipili ulit ako ng tatlo, tatlong susyante, okay, na pinaka maganda explanation sa diagram na to. Okay? So, what does it mean? Ano kaya ibig sabihin ng color coding na yan? Or ano ba silang ibig sabihin? Baka kasi wala naman. Okay? Ulitin ko, tatlo lang po. Sa lahat yun, pag ako makapili, ay, tatlo sa A, tatlo B sa B, tatlo sa C, tatlo sa D. Pero, pwedeng isa rin lang sa A, isa C, isa sa D, or isa sa A, isa sa C, or isa sa B, ganun. Okay, so tatlo lang talaga. Tatlo sa bonus 1, tatlo sa bonus 2. Okay? And we are almost done, I think. What are the changes facing our managers? Um, actually, um, uh, makikita niyo dito na ang managers class, 
they should be able to adopt the changing dynamics or changing environment. Okay? Because they have to, kasi kung mag-resettle lang sila, parang isipin nyo sa Nokia, bakit nalugyan ang Nokia? They are known for the keypad phones. Pero nag-settle sila sa keypad phones, eh, yung mga iba, nag aabante na sila. Okay? Hindi sila nag-advance. So, sabi nga nila, the only permanent uh, thing in the world is change. Okay? So, they have to change too. <coughs> Yan. So, nandito yung mga different changes or impact of change. Changing technology or digitization. Ano ang impact of change na yun? Shifting organization boundaries, virtual workplaces. Parang ito work from home, right? Um, kami naninibago din kami. Pero ganun talaga. We have to move forward. Okay? Increase emphasis on organizational imagery ethics. Yung values mo dati, kung ito pwede, pwede sa'yo. Dito sa organization mo, dahil kailangan mo mag-improve or merong mga new uh, organizational culture, ethics sa organization, you have to change. Yan, increase accountability, rebuilding trust. Next, increase competitiveness, customer service, uh, innovation, globalization, globalization is grow, growing international. And yung last is changing security threats. Ito, lalo na sa online, kailangan talaga mag-adjust. Risk management, uncertainty over future uh, energy sources, restructured workplaces, discrimination concerns, globalization concerns, employee assistance, etc. Okay, next and the last topic here is why is it important to study management? Okay, for three reasons. Number one is universality of management, which refers to the fact that managers are needed in all types and sizes of organizations. Okay, pag sinabi nating managers, hindi lang siya kailangan sa isang corporation lang or sa isang fast food chain lang. Pero, the main point here is universal ang management. All organizations need managers. Okay? Okay. Next, the reality of work that is you will either manage or be managed. Exactly. Ikaw, if you're watching this, do you dream? to be a manager o gusto mo nalang mag-employee? Probably, your answer is gusto mo maging manager. So, you have to study management. But, if you don't want to be managers mag at gusto mo nalang mag-employee, automatically, it's automatically, rather, meron at meron magmamanage sa iyo. So, you have still to learn them. You still have to learn the dynamics of management whether you are the manager or you are the employee. Okay? Kapag may career na kayo, ganyan, sabi nga dito, for those who plan to be managers, understanding the management force the foundation, which should build your management, knowledge, and skills. But, if you don't see yourself managing, you're still likely to work with managers. Yan. So, kailangan mo pa rin mag-work sa isang, sa with the managers or with the organization. Okay. Number three, the awareness of the significant rewards and challenges of being a manager. Okay. Of course, um, in order to, uh, kumbaga, para matutuna or kailangan mag ng management kasi you have to study ano bang rewards, ano bang challenges, okay, that you have to face when you are a manager. Okay. Creating a work environment where organizational members can work to the best of their ability or to ang challenge naman is to a hard work. It's not easy, ah. Kung gusto mo lang yung mama, gusto mo maging manager, okay. But it's not easy. Ayan. So, have opportunities to think creatively, support coach, play a role, influence the organization, and good managers and needed by organizations. But meron din siyang mga challenges to hard work, duties that are more critical, the managerial, how to deal with a variety of personalities na mahirap gawin. Motivate, motivate workers, learn knowledge, skills, ambitions, and experiences of a diverse work group. Success depends on others' work performance. Okay? Yeah, so yung mga yun. Uh, actually, that is the end of the topic, but let us run down on the learning activities. Ayan. Yung interview to managers, I hope you have done this. Meron tayong mga posted sa inyong group ng mga alternative. Okay? Nang mga alternative on uh, alternative on how you can interview or sino mga dapat mong interview din hindi lang nawala ako sa thought ayan so ano bang purpose nito kasi with all the discussions 
ano bang characteristics ng mga managers? Okay. What is the mes- uh, best manage- management advice you ever see? Because we can learn from them. So, class, okay, hindi na to bonus. Dalawa yung bonus. Pero, I will be choosing, ano ko yung kaya ko? I will be choosing three. Siguro mga dalawa na lang siguro. Dalawa per section na mag-share. Mag-propose sa MS Teams natin ng kanilang sagot. Okay? At, and it, it will be random. Siguro magamit na lang ako ng remerta para walang, ano, para, uh, para walang, uh, walang daya or walang complaint. Ano sa ating kapka? Okay. If you have work experience as considered managers, who you have encountered? Did you work with any good managers? Did you work with any bad managers? Ito, um, yung, uh, marami naman nakasagot nito, pero kung hindi kayo nagkaroon ng immersion, or hindi wala kayong prior na, um, prior na experience class, is, um, uh, wala kayong prior experience, ang gamitin nyo na lang ay yung leader ng group work or activity. Kahit sa nung high school kayo, meron kayong leader na ayaw na ayaw nyo kasi masyado siyang um, demanding kanya sa, eh, ikaw, um, meron kang, maski weekend, maski Sunday, gusto niya mag-start, mag, 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 mag gumawa ng work, ganyan. So, pwede yun. Okay, yun ang gamitin nyo. Hagin managers rules change during COVID-19? I suggest that you will, uh, you should read the two articles Yan, kung nakagawa na kayo ng ano, pwede yung edit. Pero meron or two articles doon na akong nilagay na pwede nyo doon, ilag- yung doon, i-base yung mga sagot ninyo. Very important yun. Okay, may dalawa ulit akong pipiliin dyan. And after reading, share your own personal reason why is it important to study management. Bakit mo kailangan study ng management? Because, but, do not include na I, aside from, rather, aside from, it is required na kailangan mo siyang pag-aralan. But you have study. Kasi kailangan, why do you have to study management? Kasi kailangan mo ng motivation. Okay, these are the expi- uh, experiences. These are the references. Lahat ng text nang galing po sa Romans and Culture uh, Management Book ng Person Education Limited. But we have other resources. Makikita niyo yun lahat ng buo sa study guide. Okay. Wait lang. Pause. Okay, so ayun. Um, andito na ang ating Bill of Fortune. 56 kayo, Section A. At pipiliin ko na kung sino ang dalawa na magpo-post sa, ano natin, sa group natin sa Friday, last time. Hindi, siguro sa Monday na lang pala. No, Tuesday. Tuesday pala kasi yun yung next class natin. At hanggang Friday pa naman yung deadline. So Tuesday ng class time, Magpo-post kayo ng results ng inyong uh, research or yung sa assignment ninyo. Share it to the class. Okay? So, ito yung mag-share. Pipili ako ng dalawa para sa virtual interview na mag-share. Okay. Una. Okay. Ang una natin ay si... Alina, Kristin Joy Rabara. Ayan. So, uh, Kristin, ikaw ang una mag-share. Okay. Next tayo. Okay. Worst. share ng ating results ng virtual interview ay si Vanessa Bernal. Next naman, napipiliin ko ang dalawa ay yung mga mag-share naman for uh, yung sa how did uh, the rules of managers change during COVID-19. Dalawa po. Okay. At ang last naman, I see, I know. Yan. 
Ayan, si... Santa Rosalina. Section A. Galing po yun si Section A. Okay. Ayan. Para naman si Section B, ito ang dalawa na uh, dalawa na mag-share ng kanyang mga yung assignment sa kanyang virtual interview. Una ay si share ng kanilang results sa kanilang assignment na kung paano nag-change yung managers during the COVID-19, yung kanilang mga roles, ano yung mga changes, ganyan. Okay, ulitin ko sa Tuesday po ng class time. Okay. Ang manager ay si Mary Palabino. Mary Palabino. Okay. At yung last section B, yung fair eye. Ta-da! Okay, and para naman sa section C, ito na ang listahan na bago ko na ulit. Hirap nito ha. Okay. So, virtual interview, ito. Una ay si... Yes, si Jojo Villoria. So, sabi na lang sa mga klase nyo ha, kung sino ang mga mag-share. Kasi hindi ko na rin ito may uh, announce. Okay, isa pa. Next, I see... Okay, ito naman yung sa COVID-19 changes sa kanilang mga managers, managerial roles. Okay, ang una, I see... Ta-da-da-da! Yes, and then, the other thing is the last room. Okay, yan ang mga share sa akin for Section C. Okay. Okay, at last naman, ito na ang Section B. For the virtual interview, ito yung mga yun. First, I see Marina Pico. Walong napili. And actually, parang 16 yata, di ba? Kasi tingda dalawa. Four. Tama ba? Yeah. 16 na napili. I'll see you on Tuesday. I'll wait for your post. Okay, I think this is the end of my 
discussion. Okay. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.